So most of you probably didn't know this, but Facebook is actually one of the most popular websites in the entire world. Right now it's ranking at number three in terms of the amount of visits that it gets in terms of all of the websites that are active at this moment. And the reason why this is important to know is because wherever there's a lot of traffic, there's always an income to be made. And if we just go over to this site over here, we can see that these are the most popular social media platforms. You know, we've got Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, X, TikTok, and Freds. But Facebook is the one that's most used by people that are looking to potentially earn money online. And the reason why I'm saying all of this is because Facebook, also known as Meta, has recently released their own AI tool that's very similar to ChatGPT in the sense that you can go onto it, ask it a question, and it's going to be able to give you an answer back. But there's a strategic way that it can be used when it comes to being able to start up a one-person business. And in today's video, I want to break it down. I want to show you all of the steps and just give you an insight into what I would personally do and what you could maybe do yourself. And of course, this video should not be taken as financial advice. I'm not saying that you're going to be able to watch it and start making money straight away, but the whole purpose of this video and all the videos on my channel is to educate you, show you exactly what you can do when it comes to being able to use all of these different AI tools. But now that I've got that disclaimer out of the way, let me just quickly jump straight into one of the first steps, which is going to be entering in a specific prompt. Now, if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, I've got this Google Doc that you're going to be able to find down below. It's going to be the different prompts that you're going to copy and paste directly into it. So you're going to be able to find this again in the description. And I'm going to start off with one of the first ones. So I'm just going to copy it like this, go over to meta.ai and I'm going to paste it in there like that. And all this says is what are the best side hustles that work well with Instagram and Facebook? Super simple prompt, just so that we're all on the same page in terms of how this AI tool works. So I'm just going to click on enter. And as you can see, it's already come back with all of these different options available to us when it comes to starting up a one person business. And it's going to be down to you to find one that, you know, you're happy to move forward with. Maybe you've got a little bit of experience or maybe it's just a side hustle that excites you. Now, the one that I'm going to move forward with in today's video is going to be selling digital products. I'm someone that sold tens of thousands of units of various different types of digital products. So it's something I'm well versed in, but I'm going to approach this throughout the rest of the video as if I was a beginner. So let's move forward with this one. And I'm just going to go over to the second question. So I'm just going to copy the question like this, come back over here, paste it in there, and I'm going to update it so that it knows that I want to start selling digital products. So I'm going to copy this and change the side hustle so that it says, what are the top 10 most profitable niches within selling digital products, specifically when posting content on Facebook and Instagram? And I'm also letting it know that I'm looking to do organic as well as paid content. And stick with me because this part is going to be very important as we go along. So I'm just going to enter this and then click on this button over here. Okay, perfect. So it's now come back with all of these niches that it knows does well on Facebook because again, this is Facebook's AI tool. And again, I do need to remind you that when it comes to picking any one of these different categories or the ones that it comes back with for you, you want to pick one that you've got some sort of knowledge within. For example, I wouldn't pick home gardening and urban farming because I know nothing about it, but I may want to pick plant-based diets or vegan lifestyle because I was actually vegan for around five years. Not vegan anymore, but this is something that obviously I've got knowledge in, you know, I've also got knowledge within personal finance and investing. Basically, you don't want to just pick one because you think it's going to make you rich. You want to pick one that you're going to be able to help your customers out in the best possible way. But the one that I'm going to move forward with is going to be personal finance and investing. So let's move on to the third question. Just going to copy it like this and then paste it in there. This one says, what are the 20 best products to sell within? And I'm just going to copy the niche like that, paste it in there on Facebook and Instagram, and then click on enter. Okay. Once again, within half a second, it was able to come back with all of these different types of digital products that is doing well on Facebook right now. And the good thing about selling a digital product is that you're also going to be able to use AI when it comes to helping you build it. So let's move forward with any one of these, just as an example today, I'm going to go with financial planning tools. So what I'm going to do now is go over to question four. So we're just going to copy it like this. And this is where the video gets really interesting. So I'm just going to paste this one in there just like that. And what this says is give me 20 keywords to search in the Facebook ad library 
for people that are running Facebook ads to a specific product. So the one that we're going to go with is going to be financial planning tools. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it in there. And I'm also going to add the word spreadsheet as well. And the reason why I'm asking it for people that are running Facebook ads is because if you're able to find a store that's getting a lot of traffic because they're running Facebook ads, then this means that there could potentially be an opportunity for you to replicate their store, set up some sort of a simple Facebook ad and start driving traffic to any type of digital product that you're thinking about selling. With this method, you don't need a big audience as long as you're able to build your digital product, set it up accurately and start driving ads towards it you're going to be able to start building up traffic and fingers crossed start potentially making money so i'm just going to enter this prompt and then click on search okay there we go so i've now got different keywords that i'm going to be able to search for you know you can pick any one of them whichever ones it came back with for you so i'm going to go with this one over here personal finance template so i'm just going to get that then go over to the Facebook ad library. You can find it by searching for it in Google, just like this, and then click on the first one. The good thing about this is that you don't need to pay for it. You're gonna be able to use it for completely free. So all you need to do is change this to all or the country that you wanna focus on and just type in the keyword just like that and then click on search this exact phrase. Okay, and there we go. So I've now got all of these different people that are running Facebook ads right now to all of these different digital products. And with this information, I'm now gonna be able to click into any one of these different websites. So let's click into this one over here. Okay, so as we can see, it's a super simple website by the looks of it. And they've got these different digital products. You know, it's a low ticket digital product that they're focused on selling no more than $10 each. But what's really interesting about this website is that if I just click into similar web, it's gonna show us that they're getting around 1.3 million monthly visits. And this is something that's consistent. So essentially what they're doing is building these different websites, adding these different digital products, running very simple Facebook ads. And because of that, they're gonna be able to now build up traffic and hopefully start generating sales. Well, they're definitely generating sales for the fact that they're getting over a million visits every single month. And that's the basic premise of this video, being able to use tools like meta.ai when it comes to finding someone that's running a Facebook ad to a product that you can build yourself. And if I wanted to do this myself, one of the first things that I'll do is build out the platform where I'm gonna start listing these different digital products. So step one is to build the website. And the way that I'll do that is by using Hostinger. Reason being is because you're gonna be able to get a free domain and you can also use AI when it comes to building a custom landing page. I'm gonna leave Hostinger down below. You can check it out. All you need to do if you click that link is click on start now, then click on choose plan for this option because it comes with 71% off. You're gonna be able to build up to 50 websites if you want to sell products and services. And most importantly, it comes with 0% transaction fees as well as various different AI features. So once you click on choose plan, you're gonna be able to select a period. You can select between one, 12, 24 or 48 months. If you select 48 months, you're gonna be able to get the biggest discount, but of course it's down to you, whichever one you pick. And you also want to make sure that you insert this coupon code as well. I'm gonna leave the code on the screen right now. If you wanna use it, that's gonna save you some additional money. So I'm just gonna click on continue. And then from here, you're now gonna be able to create the website by simply entering in a brand name and a short description. So for this example website, let's say if I wanted to call it Sam's Spreadsheets. And for the description, I'm just gonna enter this in. I'm just gonna say create a one product website that has the purpose of selling digital products, etc., etc. You can read it right now, take a look at exactly what it says and you know, kind of replicate it for your own website and just tailor it to whatever type of product that you're selling. But I'm gonna leave it like this and then click on create a website. And there we go. Within a few seconds or so, it was able to come back with a fully customized website ready for me to start selling. So now that I've got this site up and running, of course, there's gonna be some things that I need to do on the back end you know, update the currency to USD or whatever my target market is. I'm also gonna have to sort out the domain stuff and, you know, the payment processor stuff. If you wanted me to make a full video breaking down everything, even though it's quite simple, just put in the comments down below, do the backend digital video and I'll get onto it ASAP. But the beauty of using this AI store builder is that it's gonna have all of these different elements already integrated. You can start building up emails. You're of course gonna be able to start selling all of your different digital products as well. 
Imagine it, just like that, I've been able to get a very similar website to what this person has where they're getting over a million visits every single month. And if I wanted to make any changes to it, you know, they've done a good job of ensuring that I could just drag and drop anything. If I want to use their AI tools when it comes to updating any of the text, I can do that as well. For example, if we just come over here, I can use the AI tool when it comes to changing this heading that's on the homepage. So I'm just going to click on AI writer and I'm going to say rephrase it. And just like that, it's now rephrased it to this. Not saying I would leave it like that, but just to kind of show you exactly how this works. And if you wanted to add any other pages, you can do that as well. You know, everything is simple and intuitive to use. But now that I've got my website up and running, one of the next things is to start the process of using AI when it comes to building out these specific digital products. And one of the tools that you can use when it comes to making this type of digital product and a few others is going to be GPT-5. They've made a lot of upgrades to it, a lot of updates. So if I wanted to make a spreadsheet that I plan to sell, I'm gonna be able to enter this prompt. I'm just gonna say that I wanna sell a spreadsheet as a financial tool for people that want to track expenses for their online business, ensure it has formulas, pie charts, line charts, and also ensure it's valuable as I'll be selling it as a low ticket digital product. I'm just gonna update this to say their drop shipping online business so that's a bit more specific. So I'm gonna enter this prompt and then click on this white arrow. And there we go. That took about maybe 20 seconds or so, but it's come back with the spreadsheet that I'm gonna be able to download right now. So let me just click this link and here it is. So this is the spreadsheet that I'm gonna be able to sell you know, for less than $20 or so. It's got all of the pages, all of the different sheets. It's also got all of the different formulas as well. If someone wants to use it, they can click into any one of these and ChatGPT has been able to insert, you know, all of the necessary fields so that I could just go through it, make sure that it works and also make sure that all of the formulas are working as they should as well. And I'm only showing you this part of the video just so that you have an understanding of how simplistic it is when it comes to making any type of digital product out there because I'm now gonna be able to repeat this process and make a different type of spreadsheet, maybe doing a different thing, maybe trying to help people with their balance sheet, cash flow statements, so on and so forth. But I'm sure that you get the point because now I'm gonna be able to go back onto Hostinger and list this for sale. To be able to do that, you know, all I need to do is come over here to store and then click on add a product. And it's gonna be over here where I'm gonna be able to make any changes to the products that's been listed onto the website already. And of course, I'm gonna be able to add a brand new one if I wanted to. Now, most of you are probably thinking, Sam, everything you've shown me is amazing, you know, from building a website, making a digital product, using meta.ai when it comes to figuring out the best type of product to sell and spying on people that are running Facebook ads right now as we speak. But how exactly do I set my first Facebook ad up as a complete beginner? And this is a very good question. And I do need to say that there is gonna be a learning curve that goes into it. But what I've done is made this step-by-step -step quiz that's going to give you a understanding of the best way to set things up based on the type of product that you're selling. It's gonna take you through six, maybe seven different questions. And by the end of it, you're gonna be given a prompt that you can now copy and paste into meta.ai for you to know how to set your ad up in the best possible way. So we're gonna work on it together. Let's start off with question one, which is what type of product are you selling? So the one that I'm gonna go with is digital product, of course, because that's what we're working with today. And I'm gonna click on next. Question two is what title best describes your product? So it's gonna be drop shipping, profit and loss statement. Click on next. What is your product price? So let's say if I'm gonna sell it for $19.99, I'm just gonna enter that. On average, how much profit do you make per sale? Because there's no real expenses when it comes to selling a digital product like this, I'm just gonna say that the profit is going to be around $15, just for the sake of it, you know, so that we've got a little bit of margin. Question five is what is your available weekly ad budget? So this is gonna depend from person to person, but let's say if I'm happy to start spending, I don't know, $100 per week, I'm just gonna enter this in. Question six is which platforms do you want to run ads on? For now, I'm just going to select either Facebook or Instagram. Let's go with Instagram today. And question seven is which countries or regions do you want to target? So I'm just gonna select United States and then click on submit. Okay, great. So it's now giving me this custom prompt based on the answers that I inserted. So what you need to do from here, if you're following along, and by the way, you can gain access 
to this Facebook ad generator by clicking the link in my description, completely free. So I'm just gonna copy that, go over to meta.ai. And what I'm gonna do is now paste the entire prompt in there just like that and then click on enter. Literally just like that, as you can see, it's now giving me everything I need to do when it comes to setting this up. The daily budget allocation, you know, the targets, interest for me to, you know, go after e-commerce dropshipping, the demographics, the age of the people that I need to set in the back end when I'm setting up the campaign. How should I even do the ad, you know, in terms of the creative? Should I use an image, a video? How should it look? What do I need to do when it comes to optimizing it for the first seven days? So on and so forth. I'll definitely recommend using this if you're thinking about running Facebook ads so that you can avoid losing money. But from here, of course, what I would now do is go over to my Facebook ad account. And of course, you are going to need to have a Facebook ad account if you don't already have one. But if you do have one, you're just going to go over to it just like this. Create a new campaign and just make sure that you follow the steps when it comes to setting it up so that you can drive traffic to the product that you're selling. Now, this video has already gone on a bit too long, so I would love to show you how to set up the Facebook ads today. But if you want me to make a more detailed video showing you how you can do it step by step, just put in the comments down below. Sam, can you show us the meta ads? And can you also insert your specific location so that I can tailor the video to where you live? And I'll get onto that video ASAP. But if you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything from it, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. And if you also want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where in this video, I'm going to show you some other side hustles that you can get started with when it comes to building up a one person business with the help of ChatGPT5. You're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link over there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to stick with it from start to finish, it's also going to help you out too. But other than that, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.